Don't even get TV. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to? Just stopping for a comfort break. Don't <laughs> <laughs> take it off. There we go, urinal. Nice. Cool, huh? We're in Africa. Oh God, can you tell me, we've already traveled together for a week. It's been a week too long, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Oh, this is incredible. Lucky. Yeah. Pretty excited. Just arrived at Tena Tena. So our first camp in South Luangwa. Going to be here for four nights. Just heard from camp staff that um, they've had some visitors last night, which is quite funny. Um, a pride of lions walked into camp and started ripping up cushions. I think they got away with about four or five cushions in camp. Um, and as you can see, the tracks are right in camp here. Um, and that's awesome. It's, it just reminds us of where we are and what a way to welcome my guests here um, with not only a beautiful river and scene from camp, but also the fact that last night there were some visitors here. Um, oh, always special. And that's why I love coming to places like South Mwangwa. The camps are so entwined with nature. It's, it's um, very much one and the same thing. And you know, animals come through here no problem at all they, there's no fences there's no boundaries and as long as you stay you know you could be concerned perhaps with safety but as long as you are aware of your surroundings and, and that you don't just wander off at night uh, it's pretty safe and animals will avoid you um, and there's armed escorts and just taking you back and forth and but during the daytime it's all it's very safe and quite enjoyable and uh, just such a great remote setting and and a way to experience africa so what a way to be welcomed and I really look forward to what's uh, coming our way over the next uh, week here in South Luangwa. Got my guests all checked in. And what I love most about these camps is just the, the bush camp atmosphere. It's basic yet meets every requirement you can possibly think of. Proper wild, a glimpse into Africa the way it was I think before we settled in with all the fancy uber luxury safari camps you know this keeps it basic yet the comforts and everything you need are there no scratch 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 First afternoon out, we've just found um, lions in the open on a bend in the Luangwa River. Sunset behind, ridiculous sighting, crazy good. Have a look at this. So it's uh, just before six AM on um the first morning here in South Luangwa. I mean, we've had such a fantastic drive. I think Grant took over a thousand photographs, which is the most he's ever taken on any safari on one outing. So just proved why Luangwa is such a special place. Um, now, we can look for leopards, see if we can find one. There was one close to camp last night. Male lion had been calling across the river all morning and uh, just a special start to the day. We're gonna see what the rest of it holds. One of biggest reasons why I love this place is how old school it kind of is and look at this morning breakfast setup um, look at how cool this is good night 
Monkey and Lonnie, eh? We just spent some time with uh, wild dogs and now we have a, uh, a leopard, pretty awesome. It's the first one that we've had, day four, um, the fourth game drive, day three, and we've worked hard, but uh, just in our hunt, um, she missed, she tried for some impala, but uh, now I've got to just in the shade. It's, uh, it's 9.30 in the morning and pretty cool to be with a leopard that's active. As you can see, everybody's working very hard. I don't know what it is. You guys see? I know what you guys are up to. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, Breakfast. surprise. Breakfast. Yes. I know you guys aren't too hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> Have you worked hard today? Yeah. Do you deserve yeah. breakfast? Get an eggs for the win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, like so we're out and about looking for dogs again from this morning's great safari and I also wanted to let you guys know that I've shaved because Natalie said I should let you know so that you're not confused. So it's still the same safari, still in South Luangwa, still the same day. I just felt like a change. And I uh, felt like I should be uh, makes you look a little bit younger, I think. Let me know what you think. That's Natalie. Hi everyone. The beards are done over. We've done the beard thing. So it's, it's good you've moved on. It's gone. So, yeah, and I'm glad your guests won't be confused now. So. What are you looking for so, today? I am very excited to see wild dogs again, hopefully. Never seen them before now, so it's my first time. Um, they look very sweet this morning when we photographed them, so now I want to see the killer wild dogs. Jeez, eh? Cooping. This is my guide. What's your name? Bertram. Bertram, a legend. He's been here for how many? 12 years? 12 years, yeah. 12 years. Yeah. 12 years at Tena Tena, and uh, it's been pretty epic. He's a good guide. 
We had a very nice day. We saw the dogs all day with the dogs. Six hours this morning on Game Drive and like four and a half hours no. this afternoon. And tomorrow we heard rumors of lions killing a buffalo. So tomorrow morning we're going to go looking for lions eating a buffalo. But epic day. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Look and forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thank Richard. You. Thank you. <laughs>For the gram, what do you think, Rob? This is incredible. This morning light just coming up over the top. It's a little room with light coming through here. It's amazing. The opportunities are endless. Be around the one side, be around this side. Had two young males feeding. Now one of the older sisters or mom's getting involved. Epic stuff. It's really cool. Awesome, man. Uh, lions feeding on a buffalo carcass. It's awesome. <laughs> Backlit, rimlit, whatever you want. Is there a hint of uh, steam coming off yes, that carcass? Yes, there is a hint of steam. <laughs> <laughs> seen uh, hippo in the Luangwa River but I want to show you what a pretty intense path they need to take to get in and out of this river. So have a look at this. It's pretty steep but then if you look down here this is where it gets rather interesting. So they're gonna get up there all the way down and into the river. Gotta take your hat off for a hippo. My hat off for a hippo. There you go. Grant's gonna demonstrate. Well done, Mr. Hippo. <laughs> Grant, yeah. demonstrate how they go down and up. Well, they're on four legs, so it's even more drastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming up, so Bart. Coming up. <laughs> coming up's a bit easier on four legs. <laughs> But they're a bit fatter, so they rub against the sides, as Martin was saying. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, they're, they're like, probably like this. <laughs> and they've got big mouths. And, like and then they kind of come out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Grant. <laughs> so, Grant, you're going to demonstrate how this is the hippo's, what should we call this, entry into the water? 
Um, I think it's the half pike with a twist. <laughs> so, <laughs> they literally dive off this bank. That's uh, rather Hippo extreme, but they really do. Here's the hippo path coming all the way down. And then jump straight into the river. You can see how smooth it is there. All the way down. And there they are. There you can see another entrance into the water, quite a steep one, probably about a four meter drop. Down to the bottom. Yeah, pretty interesting. Shows you and gives an idea of how hippos get into the water and get out. A lot more uh, agile than what we think. How was that Ellie sighting? Oh, amazing. We just saw like Ellie's crossing the Luangwa River and the sound banks, colors. Oh, such a great sighting. Such an epic morning. Thanks, man. <laughs> safari and spending a massive amount of, amount of time out here it's, you can make the most of all different scenes and just enjoy being out here it's nice to sit back at camp but it's nicer to sit here with some elephants Definitely going on. That's definitely going on, and you guys are gonna love this. We'll have another one right at the end to make sure that she's perfected it, but the story continues. Natalie Mountain, aka Hyena Lady. Banks of the Luangwa River just had an 
epic afternoon. We um, came looking for the lions, and the lions that had the buffalo carcass, actually two of them walked down to the river for a drink, but we didn't know that because we actually came down to the river because elephants were about to cross. And so in the end, we ended up with the elephants crossing right behind one of the lionesses and incredible images, but just the scene and the experience was um, very, very special and very unique. Now we're sitting with uh, some of the remaining lions just over on the sandbank there. We've got another lioness behind us over there, and then we have elephants on the banks um, and about a 300 hippo, I don't know how many. And then also to add to that, the setting sun right behind us. So, South Wangwe, pretty epic. Bigger Eli, hopefully he keeps going for the light. As the sun drops there, huh? under the canopy of the tree. This has been absolutely incredible. We've had literally four different sightings of these lions today. Three of them around the carcass, another one in the riverbed on their own with Ellie's crossing. It's just, it doesn't stop. Um, but also, I mean, interactions here, they are having a go at each other while they try and uh, finish off some more of this, this buffalo kill. And uh, we've got snarling, we've got tearing of meat, we've got jaws snapping, teeth, yawning, everything. It's all uh, going down. <laughs> Looks like you're sitting right next to them, Grant. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like you won with the pride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Guys, one of the best things about a sighting like this for me is that if you think of where we are, we've, we've not had another car in the sighting for the last hour and hour and a half, and before that there was one for very, you know, a few minutes. But the fact that we can sit here in South Mwangwa, in the middle of Zambia, this is like as middle of nowhere as you can possibly go. I don't know where you could go further into a remote safari destination. And here we are with the Prada lions devouring a buffalo completely on our own. How wild is that? Mm. Really cool. yeah. Oh, flipping it. That's amazing. Look at the size of that thing. Three and a half, eh? Yeah. Three and a half meter python. And he's shedding his skin. Eh? Yeah. Look at his tail. So it's uh, 6 a.m. Just arrived back at the lion carcass, and exactly what we'd hoped. There's quite a few hyena around, a lot of vultures. The lions are still feeding and dominating, but it seems like the uh, the weight is shifting towards the hyenas. They're getting bolder and braver, and I think there's going to be some action here. We'll, uh, we'll wait it out. We are nice and early. The lions are still feeding, but I think there's something good about to go down here. <laughs>
Again, epic morning. Seeing the lions finishing the carcass. Hyena interaction. Vultures coming in, flying in. Great night. Great experience. Thanks, man. say we had a good morning is a complete understatement. We got to those lines at 6, left at 9.30 and it was epic. As we got there there was a battle with hyenas and then there was two male lions, two young male lions in the pride and they saw the hyenas off. So the hyenas didn't quite have the confidence to take them on and push them off that buffalo carcass. But we still got to see a great interaction of vultures and feeding and backlight and uh, you know, just all in all, an incredible way to end that. So we got there, you know, a few, maybe a, a, the, the following morning after the buffalo had been killed. Spent the, most of the day there, spent yes, or this morning there. And um, it's nice to spend, you know, 15 odd hours with a particular sighting and to get to see what it offers photographically. And uh, it was very worth it. Incredible experience. You can move. I was just trying to get. Uh... So, just want to give you a quick view of the room zero tenor tenor. I love the fact that it's canvas uh, walls and mesh windows because you really hear nature. You feel like you're a part of nature. Um, and it's a very special experience, especially at night um, when, when it's quiet out in the bush and everyone's asleep and you fall asleep almost serenaded by nature and, and what's happening around you. So have a look at this special camp, beautiful camp and uh, certainly a highlight of the safari experience. So, we uh, 
or at least I took a break from uh, sharing yesterday because we had a magnificent day and it was one of those kind of afternoons where um, you just you just can't explain it in a video you can't capture it well enough and uh, it was just epic um, a leopard sighting of, of note with the mother and cub interacting we followed her for over three k's along the river just a beautiful scene beautiful setting and great photographs do you agree yes, yes. yes. and god and there's a leopard in front of us on the road not even joking, we literally just drove into a leopard. <laughs> oh, you gotta love South Longwa. So we found these lions this morning, um, all lying behind me, six of them that we can see at the moment, about an hour ago. And it looks like, from what we can tell, that they chased a buffalo into that muddy wallow. It's part of a drainage system, but very deep, dense mud. Chased it into that, and it's now firmly stuck. Um, we had a look in Chulumba, our guide here also could see some claw marks and bite marks at the rump of that buffalo. So it looks like there was some kind of interaction on the bank and they've now ended up in a bit of a waiting game. What makes this more interesting is that at least six hyenas have arrived on the scene as well, lying behind the buffalo in the shade. So it is now 11.30. We've been here for about an hour and we're gonna wait it out and we're gonna see what happens here. This is incredible stuff. Ellie and Lion. It's not a bad little scene, is it? So we are um, spending the entire day out in this sighting with the buffalo stuck in the mud. It's, it's pretty emotional because it's, you know, it's, it can't be easy. It's very hot and that thing is well stuck. He can't drop his head below because he can't breathe that way. So he's got to keep his head up. And um, we're just staying here. We're not going to go anywhere. And We've now had um, breakfast brought out to us, it's just pretty cool, brunch. It's now almost 12, um, we're going to have a quick snack to eat and then um, we've got, you can see in the distance, can see what's going on. The lions are still in the shade and the buffalo is still very stuck. And so we're going to wait it out. This could be, uh, this is going to be a long night, a long day and potentially into the night. So, good waiting game, very exciting but at the same time not easy for that buffalo. <laughs> we'll be sitting there video again. <laughs> 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 Must be starving by now. This is uh, Marcus. Thank you for bringing uh, food to us. My pleasure. Awesome, man. Uh, whatever, next time. <laughs> On the radio. He's still got his own. He's now got a pride. Yeah, which he joined last year. He's dead. So, yeah, shame. Buffalo just died. We uh, watched. Um, been here for probably four hours or so, and 
just uh, saw him started breathing quite heavily and he went a bit closer and eventually breathed his last. So quite sad, very real experience getting to witness these kind of things. And um, a day my guest and I will certainly remember. Um, it is now 2 p.m. and we will now wait for the next phase, which hopefully will be these lions going in to finish what they started. What the buffalo died of, we're not 100% sure, but it, it's very hot. He's in the sun, very stressed, um, and could definitely been injured to some extent. We don't know what extent it is to, but um, yeah, very emotional, very, very raw moments out here in uh, South Longwa. So we got you just before 10 a.m. It is now 3.30 in the afternoon. The lions are still down. The hyenas were moved a couple of hours ago by Eliza walked past and uh, we're still waiting. The, the thing with this is if, if we go, go to camp and you come back, there's this uh, guy hiding somewhere in the world. His name's Murphy and uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll make an appearance and he'll get you and there'll be lions all over the show. But the best way to make sure that you don't miss a thing is just to stay here. And that's the coolest thing about this, is watching the whole thing. So, we wait a little bit more. Very sophisticated. We've been waiting all day. It is now 3.30 and we have... High tea. High tea. Sophisticated. Probably scones or cake or something. Drinking tea like a... Shalumba, how has your day been? It's been fantastic. <laughs> it's a long one, eh? <laughs> a good start, yeah? Now we're having coffee and tea in the bush. Brilliant. There's our cake. See Megan? Um, Video guys. I'll get it on video if you guys want a photograph. I got video here, Grant, if you want a photograph.
Yesterday we had a, an epic sighting, okay, with those lions and the, and the hyenas and the buffalo, like just an incredible full day out and tell you what, I was pretty happy to just leave it at that, you know, anything else would be a bonus. And then we go back to that buffalo this morning and just had the best hyena sighting I've ever had. It was incredible. These hyenas were all over that buffalo carcass and the interaction, the fighting, the sounds, the, it was raw, it was unbelievable. We were the only car there for a very long time. We had it all to ourselves, couldn't be in a better position to experience this, the sounds and the, wow, um, blown away. Last full day here in South Longa, but what a way to end an epic adventure. Guys, so we're having a cup of coffee on our last morning and the last 24 hours have just been incredible. Chalumba, our guide here, um, picked up on a buffalo that had got caught in a mud wallow and he was still alive. We, Marlon's first instruction was, guys, we're not going anywhere because shit is going to go down. And uh, so we spent literally the whole day yesterday. We had high tea brought out to us. We had lunch brought out to us. It was incredible here to remember. I'm sure I would, I would recall that even if uh, 10 years, 15 years to come, we'll be able to remember. It's been uh, some good, nice three days in the bush. Thank you. Uh, it was an amazing sighting. I thought like we already hit the checkpoint yesterday evening, you know, with the lines on the carcass. But like seeing the hyena clan was like the icing on the cake this very morning. What were the sounds like? Very eerie sound, like oh it's, just, it's hard to describe. You have to see it on video. Uh, just like them moving around, uh, the sounds like taking bits of pieces out of that buffalo carcass. And the fighting. Fighting, back lit, rim lit, pretty much we had it all. So thanks for this very epic morning, man. Oh, awesome, bro. Awesome, Livia. Well done, man. It was incredible. Um, it's beautiful here. Pretty much every view you have is stunning, especially of the river. There's a ton of game. We had amazing sightings, probably some of the best sightings of my life. In amazing sightings, but also to see South Luanga, it's absolutely beautiful here. The views down the river and watching elephant crossings and even giraffe crossings oh, was yeah. really special. Also, there are so few people. The lack of cars is also really lovely. So you feel like you have a sighting almost to yourself, which is incredibly special. Give us a whoop, Natalie. <laughs> I've been practicing my hyena whoop because we've been listening to them most evenings. So I think I'm getting there. So let, let me just think about this. Whoop! 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 <laughs> How did I do? Brilliant. Are you home after this? Yes. So our last afternoon, we were planning on just basically taking it easy because we've seen just about everything that we can. But we were happy with whatever Luangwa gives us, you know. And how it went was a leopard feeding on a baboon head 
within 10 minutes of leaving camp. <laughs> and then to add to that, just as the leopard finished, she walked into a shrub and out popped a pride of lions. Now we spending time with the lions. They might go and drink in the drainage. And uh, Grant was planning on sundown as at the river, taking the, it easy. Yeah, over the Luangwa River. And but I'll take, I'll take it as it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Please tell me you got that. Oh. I'm sick. <laughs> okay, I'm a believer, man. Yeah, 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 yeah